all in this video we will see how to um, blink an led um, using a simple code uh, written in mount river ide on cs32 v003 so open the mount river studio and uh, go to file okay click on new mount river project so this page opens up here you give your project name for example we are going to give cs32 v003 LED blink okay and uh, uh, we want uh, uh, our own location so click here okay so here what we can do is uh, we can use our uh, um, folder okay whatever you want you can you can just uh, uh, use it select folder okay so in this uh, what we are going to do is uh, mm, we, we have to select the exact device cs32 v003 and then we have cs32 v003 f4 p6 okay so you see here uh, and so let us uh, give the name properly here led okay so and then debugger is wch link okay you can see there is only one option now uh, once uh, all these are given click on finish okay a project gets created so how to first understand this project okay see the thing is here there are several folders so first thing we need a main file right main.c correct so that is present in user okay if you go here click on main.c you can see uh, there is a uh, uart config related uh, um, program that is already present by default and then in the main uh, basically the uart is configured so we'll we'll try uart later For the first thing we wanted to try a gpa toggling by um, converting converting it to led toggling right so when we go here in the peripheral okay we can also see there are a lot of source files for gpio and all so when you click on gpio.c you can see all the gpio related settings are present in the source file okay so if you go to the main.c again so you have this file right so the first thing uh, for a programmer um, the the main uh, issue is uh, we might not be aware of the internal uh, um, functions and all right if you want to write something from the scratch it is very very difficult so for this we need um, the first driver file from the manufacturer so how can we get the driver file so for downloading the uh, driver file go to this particular link so we'll provide this link in our uh, um, description video description so wch.n download cs32 v003 evt zip okay now when when you go down you see a download link option okay so this is uh, what you download okay so once you download you will have this particular chip downloaded cs32 v003 evt unzip it and internally you will see evt folder and then you will see two folders uh, example folder and when you go to the example folder you have a uh, gpio folder inside and gpio underscore toggle and um, you have a gpio toggle project as well so this could be your starting point to start with the blinky led now uh, you go back to the project okay what you, you can do is simplest thing as a beginner uh, click on load uh, select project only and click on project and once you go here uh, go back so here cs003 evt okay and click on evt example and gpa will go to the gpa or toggle project which we have shown and uh, okay and click on ok now this project opens up once this project opens up the simplest thing that you can do is go to the user main.c okay so here you have a gpa or toggling initiate uh, init function in this uh, uh, we are just setting the uh, gpio okay the speed and uh, 
uh, the mode of it, whether it is out or in, the pin is selected and the frequency is selected. Just copy this, go to the main function. Okay, you can use the, you can keep as is, or you can also just overwrite. For our project, we don't need this, right? Just overwrite. Okay, mm. and then go to the uh, main again here, and here in the main, you can see uh, there is a clock update and a delay and uh, UART initialization if required only it is done and then you can see here in the uh, while function what we are doing is using this function GPO write bit the port pin name and uh, um, the bits are set and reset continuously okay you can copy this entire main function okay go to this main function just simply overwrite the entire function okay now our uh, code is ready let us try to close other things for confusion even gpa or toggle will try to remove okay don't remove from the uh, folders and then now uh, once this is done save it and go to run or okay go to run and click on run okay you need not to go there okay first build basically okay build all so the code gets built you can see here there are no errors right so the code uh, is uh, built you can see here um, build finished and now go to the flash and click on download okay and you can see um, reset success and uh, and if you see the board where the led is connected you can see here the leds are blinking and that led is connected to the uh, it, the pd zero you can see the PD0 pin is connected to the uh, LED of anode. We didn't use the resistors here, series resistors for the LED um, as uh, the microcontroller current is very less. Okay, um, so the LED blinky code for CS32 V003 is up and running.